I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis, and today we're going to do a shootout between the TS100 and Hakko FX901. Now, both are good irons. You can use either one out in the field, and one has an advantage over the other. Both of them have certain advantages that I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm also going to show you a comparison in this video of both of these irons, which one heats up faster. Uh, also, by the way, this one's been discounted down to about $60. I think they recently raised the price on this iron maybe it got so popular with people that they raised the price uh, but it was down as low as fifty dollars out there on the internet now this one goes for thirty five dollars now there is a definitely a huge difference between these two irons and i didn't have a ts100 to compare uh, a few weeks ago but i just got one from gearbest so uh, maybe gearbest watched my fx901 decided to send me a ts100 to test for you guys so i'm happy that they did because check this iron out it is super slim super sleek and very portable now you also in this box you get some extra screws here and those are for holding the tip on the iron those are nice because those are super small screws put those somewhere safe you might need them because if you drop this screw out in the field it will be really hard to find in the grass i've already dropped it once um, that's so that might be one drawback that you have to pull this screw back every time you put this tip on but this thing is extremely small it's electronic and it's not a butane torch i've used butanes uh, soldering irons out in the field they're just messy they're a little bit dangerous uh, and this one's simple so you can hook up this cable right here now this is a laptop style charger cable your fat shark cable will not work so if you have a battery and you try to snip that off the battery to convert this over to an XT60 like this has, you won't be able to use that connector from your fat shirt. So uh, make sure you get the right connector. There's some of these on Amazon already made up, but I decided to make my own from an old cable that I had laying around for an Energizer uh, AA battery charger. So make sure you get your polarity right, by the way. So if you plug in this 4S battery right here, you'll get this load up screen. And this is nice because this actually runs 12 to 25 volt. And that's a pretty huge, actually 12 to 24 volt, a pretty huge voltage range. Now what's cool about this iron also is that once I've plugged in this battery, unlike the Hakko FX901, when I turn this on, it's automatically heating up. There's no temperature control, um, but you're gonna get a, a hot enough iron to do some decent soldering out in the field, some smaller soldering. You're not gonna be able to do huge gauge wire uh, with this one. In my testing, I was about 65 degrees and the wind was blowing and it was pretty chilly out that day, but I was having a hard time soldering up a, a battery connector for my Fast Sharks um, because I had a battery wire snap off and uh, I couldn't use my goggles and this did not help me. So not super excited about that, but uh, this is a $35 iron and this is, you know, a, a $50 to $60 iron. So what's cool about this is this doesn't get hot when I plug in the battery. This is not hot yet. It's waiting for me to press this button right here. So uh, that's kind of an advantage. I can go ahead and press that and it automatically starts to heat up. We'll do a test here in a second. We'll put some solder around this tip and around this one and, and show you how fast they both heat up. Now both are acceptable. This one is supposed to heat up and melt solder really, really quickly. Uh, it's almost reached 400 Celsius right there. 400 degrees Celsius and it's ready to solder. So I can press that again. And it also has a standby mode. So if I leave this on the bench and I prop it up somewhere and walk away from it, this will actually turn itself off, which is super convenient. Uh, unlike this one, it's going to stay on and remain on just like my bench iron over there. I kind of wish the Hakko bench iron would actually uh, have a, a sort of a fail safe type mode for people because I have left this one on overnight several times and uh, come back and thank God for this little metal station here uh, with nothing combustible around it. So um, it would be nice. Maybe a future version of that, that bench iron will have some kind of fail safe, but this one has it and that's pretty cool. Now, if you press on this button right here, it'll let you adjust the temperature range and then you just use these two buttons right here to go up or down and it does it in 10 degree changes there, 10 degree increments, pretty nice. But I'm gonna leave this on 400 degrees Celsius because that's about the 
the, the minimum that I'm going to use for uh, field soldering. And then if you leave it for just a second, it'll go back to that main menu and start heating back up. Well, let's go ahead and weigh this TS100 on the scale here. I've got 31.2, 31.3 grams. That's pretty light. Now with the addition of a 1300 4S battery, you're looking at 200 grams, 200.5 grams total travel weight. Uh, and that's not including your cable with your XT60 on there. Now let's weigh the Hakko. FX901, and I'm at 168 grams with batteries inside. Uh, and again, the nicest thing about the Hakko FX901 is the fact that it doesn't have cables hanging off the back of it. So you don't have to worry about hooking up an extra LiPo to it. You can just use some rechargeables inside there. So uh, that's pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and put some solder on these tips and see which one is quicker to heat up solder. Okay, so I clean and primed both of these tips. They have a little bit of fresh solder on there. Uh, they are both completely cold right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and press the start button and the start button here at the same time to heat up this tip, and I'll show you how quickly it heats and melts solder. One, two, three. So now it's heating up to 400 degrees Celsius, and let's see how long it takes to heat up that solder coil I put on the end there. about 11 to 12 seconds and that solder is heated. That's pretty fast. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same test with the Hakko FX901. Uh, let's go ahead and press start and turn the on button on at the same time. Three, two, one, go. Now my test before, this one took about 25 seconds to melt solder. Fifteen, close to twenty seconds. Uh, Twenty-one, twenty-one seconds to melt solder. Still not bad. Not a long time to wait to get soldering out in the field. So let's go ahead and talk about some final thoughts on the TS100. Uh, I do like the fact that these tips right here, you can get a variety of different tips for this particular model, and they're about $13 a tip, which is pretty competitive price. Now the Hakko tips are about $25 uh, for only, I think, a few different styles. You don't have quite as many style tips as you have uh, for the TS100 as you have for the Hakko. FX901, so that might be a disadvantage if you're looking for something more cost effective. The upfront, more expensive cost of this might offset uh, buying tips later for that one, so uh, you be the judge. Um, so far for me, the TS100 is the clear winner. It heats up quicker, it has a standby mode, which I like a lot. It has temperature control, and that's pretty important for uh, smaller PCB soldering. So, uh, And it has this cool nifty little screen, this little readout. And it also has a USB port right here. So you can go in there. There's an open source software, and you can tweak the settings and some of the programming in here, which is kind of cool, uh, that this one is open source, or at least it says it is on the website. So I, I like this one. It's it's definitely one that I've wanted to have and own myself for some time. I'm getting ready to take a trip, so I'm gonna take this one along with me uh, and see how it does on that trip. If it, uh, if it fails or anything during that trip, I'll let you guys know and report back to you guys on the channel. But you can check this one out in the link below. Use the code uh, RC18OFF in the bottom down there and, and get yourself a discount. I think it'll bring it down to about $64 because they have raised the price on these since they got super popular. So uh, also I'll try to put a link on there to that XT60 uh, converter for you guys too. I think that's about $13, but not a bad soldering iron. Also some guys use this for their 100% uh, uh, main iron, their bench iron. So it's great, great investment and not a lot of money way cheaper than the uh, full-size bench version over there, the Hakko larger model. Thanks again for watching this review, guys, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this, checking out the new TS100. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.